All right, so they finally opened the road up here to Snowbowl here in Arizona. It's uh, about five days before Christmas, 2010. I just kind of wanted to head up here, check out the, the clouds. Cloud level's really low. I'm trying to do, I'm doing a, a research project on the mountain beast that lives up here. It's kind of like a Bigfoot. So I'm trying to catch him. Uh, I'm doing a uh, study on how big, uh, like a Bigfoot genitalia are. Very important stuff. But it's beautiful out. It's just, it's raining in town, but it's kind of snowing here. Nothing's really sticking. But, um, yeah. So I'm going to keep cruising up till I hit the clouds and see how, uh, how foggy it gets. Alright, so I guess we got some snow up here. Up here in the clouds. It's kind of nice. There's cars up and down the whole road up here of morons just who couldn't who can't drive in snow. Welcome to Arizona. There's a moron. <laughs> okay. Now when you go on an adventure with Dig, you gotta be ready to uh not know what the hell's going on or what you're doing. So anybody who wants to hang out with me, be prepared for that. And like most of my adventures, I am lost completely. I gotta find a home for the night. That's what it's looking like. I don't even hear that highway. I told my bros, uh, if I'm not back in two days, call the uh, search and rescue so I got really two days to get down there no food no water I do have snow I found this little cave here it's about about two feet deep but it is shelter so I guess my plan is I got to get some sticks maybe lay them this way get all the snow out of here and uh, make this my home for the night. It's easier just to grab it and throw it downhill rather than tote all the shit uphill, you know? So yeah, I found these good pieces. Just toss them down. Oh shit. That flew about 20 yards past where I needed it. Of course. It's never easy. That's for sure. Anytime you think it's gonna be easy, Think again. Oh, I broke that one. Alright. Oh, shit. I swear. I'm one dumbass. All right. Alrighty, well, here I am on my shelter. This is how far I've gotten. Got some wood here. This snow is pure powder, so I can't pack it. And, uh, you know, build kind of an igloo type dealy, which means wind's gonna be coming in all night. I think I've made up my decision, and I think I'm gonna keep hiking. You know, I'll, I'll hit something. Just hike all night if I have to. But I've hiked a good, four and a half, five hours, so my, I should be coming up to my truck or a road or something. Well, I think I'm getting pretty close. I've been hiking for about two hours now. I can, I can hear cars. So that makes me happy, very happy. Oh, shit. No. Well. Boy, am I happy. I made it to my car. The sun just went down. Oh, it was closer than I thought, thank God. Check it out. Let's see if you can see it down there. See, so you're hiding down there next to the road. Uh, right.
right there. That would be my automobile. Right there. So I'm going to go down there and pray to God the keys are there and get off this god-awful mountain. Oh, thank God. There she is. That's how you hike on a mountain in the snow, unprepared. Thanks for joining me on Adventures with Dig. Oh. 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 Oh.